I want to get it back on again yes. because we have two of the hottest actors at the moment in the country from a place to call home. Welcome, guys. We've got Jenny Baird and Brett Climo. I was going to... I got it okay. right. I got, I got it right. right. See, I'm so used to the character names. Yes. Uh, yes. George and Regina. Yeah. That. Um, yeah. Welcome, both <laughs> of you. you. Great to be here. Can thank I just you. say, what a fabulous what a fabulous show it is. And thank God it's back on our screens. Oh, th- good for us too. Mm. Mm. You guys must feel very grateful now, oh. considering at the end of... Oh, halfway through the last year, looking at not com- well, continuing on with this story. Well, the cancellation was hard. For us, well, for me, I have to say, disappointing for everybody. Yeah. I was pretty, I was fairly devastated, actually. I suppose we we should have had an inkling something was going to happen, <laughs> because as we're coming to the end of season two, we've got our final script for the season, and then we're told we're asked, would you mind filming these alternative scenes? To ending. Mm-hmm. And we, I remember Jenny saying, "Oh, I don't feel good about this," and I said, "No, no, no. Look, they're just." They're just covering all bases. They're just, it's mm. fine. We're popular. It's going to be okay. <laughs> well, you know, I just always make the wrong call. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with it is, it was such. It was so devastating to a lot of people because it's so. It's just such quality. It's just such a quality show, and the the writing's amazing. The and it's so different. If you look at what's on TV at the moment with mm, all the reality so TV different. stuff, it just yeah. everyone I know right across the board was like, "This is so refreshing to have." Mm-hmm. So I think it hit people really hard. In the regards of like, they just become really in tune with the characters, and like I, I know oh, James, oh, oh, God. oh James, hot to trot, hot to trot, James, <laughs> and I thought at the end, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Brett, you're my favourite. Oh. So, oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> so, and Jenny, well, I love everyone you. loves to hate so, me. Do you know what I was just about to say? Please don't take this the wrong way, but I hate Regina. Oh, yeah. That must be a compliment, though. Everybody hates Regina. But as an actress, isn't that what you want? Oh, no, it is. It's yeah. great. Yeah. It's She's great. horrible. Oh, is yeah. That, is that the most bitchy sort of character that you've played? Yes. Have you? Yeah. Because she normally played lovely women. Yeah. Don't and you? what's really even more fascinating is that Bevan Lee created this show, and he also created All Saints, which I was on oh, two right, years yeah, ago. Yeah. And the character I played on All Saints was the sweetest. She was. Most innocent He's character. got it in for you. I know. I couldn't. I couldn't <laughs> believe that Bevan what? gave me a shot at it. I was like, "Where, where in Paula Morgan did you see Regina?" So, which is the oh, hardest man. one for you to play? The the nice character. The or nice character is really? a lot harder. Really. And Regina's a lot of fun. Oh, she's been, <laughs> she's so gorgeous. Oh, like, and, but Nonny was the same. Um, you know, um, Elizabeth's character's the yeah. same. Like at times, you've just been. We've been nearly throwing things at the television. Oh yeah. But she's gorgeous. Like you can't not love her, even though she's done some terrible. Well, her things. characters are perhaps a little bit. Um, Nicer. Yin Yang. Yeah, whereas yeah. Regina's just yeah. Yang. Ho- horrible. <laughs> just, the sheer, <laughs> just the sheer fact that Nonny was not going to be on TV again uh, was like, or not again, but uh, that show is yeah, devastating. Show. Because, uh, and I was devastated because when we were cancelled, Bevan and I had a conversation. He went, Oh, I had such things in store for Regina. Yeah. And I went, yeah. Oh, and he told me. Yeah. I thought, <gasps> Oh, I won't be able to do it, but, but now I just, will. Oh, when it when it finished and it was announced, and we were <laughs> we were all angry about that anyway. And then the final episode. Mm. Oh, well, it just felt like it, it was, ended. It was, was just well, like, oh, let's just get rid of it. Well, they were the alternative. That's what like. you're talking about. That's what <laughs> happened. Yeah, so, yeah. And no one took them seriously. Yeah. I remember the last scene for, for for George, and the director said, "Oh, look, we've got about two and a half minutes to shoot this. Look, don't worry about it too much." They won't use it anyway. I mean, we were under this impression oh, wow. that we were just doing them for... And that's what it know. felt like. And now yeah. it brings me to the final episode of Season 2, which we which watched last Sunday night. I didn't see. Oh, you didn't oh, see the cliffhanger. So, spoiler what? alert. Don't, what? Oh, I'll get it. Have I'll to... get it. I'll watch I... it. I'll get to see it. I have to watch it because I need to know what's... What's gonna, coming up? What's coming up, exactly. Yeah. Well, unfortunately for you, I'm going to ruin it. But we don't yeah, know who it is. Somebody's put George in danger, but we don't know who. Who's put my it, George in danger? <laughs> exactly. Well, it could have been Renee or it could have been Regina who's sitting at Why would right. Regina do that? Well, because she she, isn't she well, she's exactly. in love with him. She's infatuated Deeply with him. Deeply in love with him. Deeply. Um, we actually had Peter, the guy who set up the... Peter Vernon. Yeah. yeah. And he was... He was so, isn't it amazing to have someone who... Because he wasn't really connected with the show at all, was he? Not overly. Just someone no. who went out of their way to actually... Do you sort of attribute a lot of this, the show coming back to the fact of... You know, Peter went out of his way to do that? Absolutely. Well, that group has around 5,000 members. I'm a member. You're a member? Yeah. And that's how I contacted him through Facebook and said... Can we get you on the show? This is amazing. I'm just so, I've been I had been watching the whole progress because I just loved it. Like I, I came to it late actually. I didn't see it when it was on television the first season. Sorry guys. Um, somebody introduced me to it over on D- DVD and I was obsessed. And yeah. then I was like, oh, no, what are you doing? You can't take this off. So I joined the group and all that sort of. And then he came on and 
just passionate people. Yeah. Definitely. And that, yeah. I mean, and that 5,000 number, I mean, that's just representative of a much greater audience. And I think that's what Brian Walsh at Foxtel mm. saw. I mean, he's a ready-made audience wanting something desperately. And I think what a skillful move from Brian's point. I mean, a great PR exercise as well. Totally. And, and since we've sta- you know, started with Foxtel, they've embraced the Save a Place to Call Home group. Mm. You know, mm. they've been extras on our show. Oh, uh, we great. had a huge uh, picnic down at Camden where we where the house is Camelot down there, Ash Park. Yeah, they hosted and everybody at the, at Camelot. Yeah, exactly. You know, there were 2,000 people, you know, Amazing. the other day so down it, there. Did I read something that it's now gone overseas? Yes, it's in it's America. A, wow. And it's in Europe and England. That well, love and it. And because of Marta, we have all these Dutch fans oh, wow. on Twitter. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, great. The, and yeah. Israel as well. And so Israel. So they've obviously started, Israel. these countries are all starting season one now. Is that right? Or are, or they, are they? I th- they're through season one. I think right. they might be starting season two. Wow, that's incredible. Well done. That's, it's that's just so good such an achievement. It's such a great story. That oh, you've, thank that, you. That, that, that we almost didn't have it and now we've got it back and I'm so excited to see more. Brett, you actually, I have to make mention too because you've been, you've starred in so much like uh, Australian TV. Everything. Flying Doctors, <laughs> Embassy, Blue Hill, been around. Um, Pacific Drive, <laughs> Snow River, Water Rats, Stingers, the whole lot. But, you know, the thing with it is how attached to this one were you and when it ended with, like, you've seen other shows come mm. and go. Does, did it really mean something to you? Yeah, it did. It did because I honestly thought I wouldn't. And I'm, I, I'm, it sounds like a line, but it's the truth. I felt as though I wouldn't ever have this opportunity again. I, I It goes back to when I first read the script. Yep. It didn't read like Australian television. It was enormous. The scope of the show was enormous, and I did. I had no idea how a team could actually get what I'm reading on the page onto the screen. Apart from the fact that every other actor in the country, I'm sure, wanted the role. Yeah. It was, it's a dream role. Yeah, it's, it's a role. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lovely role. But you played so well. But I, I read it and I thought, you know, it's nice to read something for a change where you think you can do it. You know what I mean? And, and yes, it's a challenge, but it, it fits. I, I love playing the, the, the character. And no, my, my first fear was that I would never find something like this again. But also, importantly, I thought it sent the wrong message to the industry. What it said was, if you aim that high, and let's face it, the show is of such a high standard visually, yep. mm. it sits beautifully yeah, with amazing. European drama and with American drama. Yep. It's, it's, it's high-end stuff. Yep. If you aim that high, there's no return on it. And what, that's what I love about this decision with Foxtel. It's saying, you know what? Keep aiming that high. Mm. Yes. Because there is a return. Yeah, we, 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 absolutely. And it's inspiring that, for other production companies. Yeah. Absolutely. There's, yeah. there's little on television for us to be inspired by or c- for kids to they're trying to cut costs creative. everywhere. Everything's yeah. reality television. The problem, and the problem is with them cutting costs, as they've tried to do, they're actually costing themselves money because people are tuning off. That's right. Yeah. And, and going to the Foxtels and going to the Netflix and all Very that kind true. of stuff. So. Do you, I mean, you obviously all loved it before that decision was made. Do you feel like you love it even more now Like you've got a second chance with, with this story? Do you feel closer? Well, I personally, I've in season three, Regina's in every episode, whereas in season one and two, she came in at the end and wrecked everyone's lives. So <laughs> now I get to kind of wreck love, everyone's kind of lives yeah, every from episode week. one. So, yeah, I, <laughs> you love it I have more of an interest, definitely, because I'm just much more involved okay. now. Yeah. And uh, if, uh, I think we all feel that it's we're working on a show that has been resurrected. So it, it, it sort of gives you this confidence that yeah. you're working on something that you know people like and that it allows you to sort of take risks yes. yeah, with okay. the production. And, and this time around being with Foxtel, they wanted something because if you look at the the marketplace out there with other, you know, with foreign drama, it's edgier drama, you know. Yep. And so they've, they've, they've sort of made it not only story-wise slightly edgier but even uh, visually. It's mm. just got a slightly different edge to it. It's yeah. spectacular um, to look at. Yeah, well, like I think it's, it's even heightened in the first season. And, um, you know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on the radio, but say my you character like. smokes now. Oh, of course. Oh, of course, course she did. I'm really great cigarette holders. <laughs> 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 I wasn't allowed to do that. Most important <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I think Regina needs a cigarette. I Jenny, think she does too. <laughs> Jenny, you, you did some, you did a quite a bit of stuff over in the States, yeah? Yeah, From two thousand around 2004, you Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. How do you find Australian production and the crew and whatever compared to the States. That must be really cutthroat over there in comparison to here. Well, in terms of auditions, yes, way more cutthroat. But in terms of... There is a difference between American and Australian crews, actually, in terms of protocol. Quite a strong difference. In America, it's very demarcated and the crew and the actors do remain quite separated, whereas in Australia, Mm. it's much more of a fluid... I mean, you know, I handle my props a lot more than I would if I was in the US. Have you got any plans to venture out back there? Well, I'm going next week. Right. Auditions? 
Mm, Never maybe. know. Maybe. Husband. Yeah, husband yeah my husband's there. over there oh, and he's God. desperately so waiting for us. Kill off Regina. Oh, no, no. I can't do that. No, no, not yet. Oops! No, <laughs> no, no. Spoilers yeah. everywhere. We no. can edit that. But do you still have, as a as an actress, do you still have like? Um, I have a, a manager a, over there still. Yeah, and, and great ambition to do more movies over there. Oh yeah, I mean, I think actors are just go with the flow, aren't they? They'll yeah. go where the work is. Yeah. They're whorish like that. Yeah. Mm. Well, you've hauled onto a great one. Oh, have you? Home. Yeah. Have you? Crazy. It just, yeah. It just feel, I yeah. feel like this thing's going to be around for a lot of years. I, th- I feel. I, I just feel it's got that quality about is it. it. Tr- Crosses all the demographics, you know. It does. You all, our age, younger ones, everyone's sort of latching onto it. It's fantastic. What's beautiful, I think, is that people who were growing up in the 50s watch the show and get to go back in time. And I think there's something very beautiful about that. Yeah. A little bit like Puberty Blues for somebody like me. Yeah. Watching that, I grew up in the 70s. And, you know, I think there's a lot of nostalgic appeal. Can I just say, I live in, I just live down the road in Fitzroy. Yep. And Fitzroy is one of those areas, as you probably know, that no one ever comes up to you in Fitzroy to say... Oh, we really like what you do. This is the only show that I'm sitting in Mario's where people will actually come up and say, we are so devastated that this show's taken. Amazing, don't tell anyone we've said this, because we, you know, we don't normally watch television. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, Love but we, we're devastated, you know? Oh. And it's, I, I think that says something that downtown Fitzroy, you know. Yeah, yeah, no. It's well, really I good. hear... Season four is starting convincing filming in February. Is this correct? Are we allowed to see Definitely. everybody at home? Rest assured, uh, a place to call home is not going very far. No, it's great. At the moment, now, listen, away ne- from us. This Sunday coming up, you've got a 7.30 special event, an audience with the cast of A Place to Call Home. Is that right? Is yeah. that already? Is that already yes. You've already recorded that? We yep. have. Yep. It's a bit like the format of an actor's studio in the US where they right. would get an actor onto the stage and they would film it, but they had all of us on the stage. How is this? Did you get is a whole fun? bunch of freaks like us? Who just going? Ah, question, oh, question. all mainly yeah. all fans. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people from the the, the place school home, safe place school home, mm-hmm. were there. Um, and uh, what can I just say? I was devastated on the night because I just thought it was going to be like a little simple interview, <laughs> like we're doing here. Yeah, <laughs> I had no idea that my fellow cast members would actually perform their interview, meaning. I think it was scripted for some of them. They gave the most extraordinary performances, and I'm sitting on the side of the stage thinking, I feel so old. <laughs> I, why, Love it. why are they just showing me up? They're so interesting and they're so funny. Greg, and, and, come on. Oh, was that, and, and I had the flu. I, oh, look, no. I look like crap, oh. and, and I, I, it was devastating for me. Well, I, at least I, you didn't have to do that kind of push up that yeah. Craig was made to do. What? I would have been devastated if we, someone. Oh, what, what they're doing push ups as well? Off chair. And you yeah. bounce chairs. back, and, and your son on the show looks good too. No, I'm just oh, oh, bring it back James, to David Berry. James, I love James. Well, James they obviously they cast him because of the you know, resemblance. Of Absolutely. Course, to, good James to James Dean. Oh, <laughs> He's uh, well, great, what a great role, and he does such a good job of it. He really does. Yeah, no, he does. And, 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 it's, it's, a, and it's, it's a tricky, uh, like um, season two was obviously, I was watching every week going, oh, wow, that must have been incredibly difficult with all the. All the um the hospital the, the scenes, hospital scenes and whatever yeah. that's really full on and it actually you know a lot of my friends who were watching it actually said I can't believe that that, that, that was that only yeah. Yeah, such a short time ago yes. um, and that that sort of treatment was going on yeah. so yeah yeah he found, it, he found it quite I mean he was virtually in a hospital bed for months yeah you know and he it, does feel a, a huge responsibility in that role he yes. does he portrayed it he, he, how he acted that was incredible because it, you mm. you actually be, you so believed that he was going through that it was it was incredible yeah. so do you remember yeah. his um love interest from season one so you didn't watch season <gasps> yes. one was what do you hot? mean you didn't was watch hot? season oh one oh i'm going back i've got to get season listen, one listen hang on you've got to watch some mean? of hay being you know yeah. dug with a oh oh pitchfork yeah fabulous are you going to tell me he's coming back that's great Is he coming back did he come? That guy. Yeah, I'm just come? saying he jogs oh, no. around near I live where I live. <laughs> 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 it's all right, take the dog a few extra it. walks. Good on you, Jenny. Yeah. You well, listen, if you want to latch, if you want to latch onto a place to, to call home, if you if you haven't watched it before, the season three kicks off on uh, Sunday, September 27th, 8:30 p.m. on Foxtel. Latch onto Foxtel if you haven't got it. I'm signing up again this week. Uh, Jenny and Brett, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you, you for coming thank in. Thank you for having us hey, in. Good luck with season three, obviously season four around the corner and whatever you yeah. do in the States, Jenny, good luck with that thank too. You. No thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Friday Breakfast with Melbourne's only brother-sister radio team. Movies Law.